Hi, hello. Today I'm bringing back IB Spain on my phone to show you how I line art. But, but Fong, your last phone drawing looks garbage. What makes you think you can line art with your phone? Well, actually, Porbelo sent me this adorable tablet. Oh my god, I look crazy. The tablet can be connected to Android and I'm gonna use it for this line art tutorial. Wait, you need tablet for line art? Well, yeah, kind of. I mean, you can follow along with pen and paper or your fingers. But first, just look at this adorable tablet. This is Parblo's new drawing tablet called Ninos and they sent me the N7 model in sky blue color. This is how the box looks like. By the way, I already opened it before recording. It got the tablet, the manual, battery free pen, this is the cable, micro and type-c adapters, and 6 replacement nips. And I clearly miscalculated the camera placement. If you're using Android, just use the adapter and connect it to your tablet and phone. You don't have to install the driver, which is great. Oh, actually, you kinda have to rotate so it works perfectly. Wait, it's upside down. Okay, ignore my cable management, and there we go. Or, you know, just draw in landscape. For PC, you can install the driver from Parblo's website. Now, I did have some minor issue when installing the driver, and I have put the links for the solution in the description if you encounter some issues as well. Oh, and also make sure to set the pressure to your preference on the tablet setting. I set up mine to around here. As I mentioned, this is the N7 model. It's very minimalistic without any buttons, and for me, the N7 size is perfect. It's not too small, but also fit just right in my bag so I can draw wherever I want. But if you want smaller tablets, there's N4 model which is really really cute. There's also N10 model if you like bigger tablets. Or if you want something with buttons, there's N7B and also N10B. Overall, this is a very nice tablet, especially for beginners and those of you who draw using Android. Thank you so much Parblo for sending me one of your products. If you guys are looking for a tablet, go check them out, link in the description. Now let's get into the video. Okay, in Ibis Paint, I'm using Deep Pen Heart. I don't know why it's weird when I say it, but regardless, it's a really good brush for line art. I didn't use any stabilizer, but if you want the brush to be more stable, feel free to adjust it to your liking. Alright, so this is the sketch, which is very messy. So to make sure you don't suffer while doing line art, we are actually going to make another sketch on top of this. Okay, yeah, I know this is a line art tutorial, why would you make a second sketch? Well, here's the thing, right now the sketch is so messy that you can't see the clear shape. If I made a line art directly on top of this, I will end up with chicken scratches line art instead of a nice confident line. So to avoid messy line art, we would redraw the messy sketch and make it tidier. A uh, pre-line art if you would. It's fine if it still looks like chicken scratches, it's still technically a sketch, but make sure you draw tidier shapes in this stage. This is also the perfect time to fix your sketch with Liquify. By the way, I'm drawing Pantalon from Genshin Impact. There are many sims for this character, including me. Like, seriously, if evil, why hot? Hmm? Alright, I'm changing the brush color to black and I'm still using deep pen heart, by the way. Starting with the eyes, I'm using bigger size for upper line and smaller size for lower line. Do not press too hard on your tablet when you're drawing small parts like eyelashes because it can get too thick. If there are two lines meeting in the middle like this, I like to make the corners thicker to give it depth, depth, whatever. For thicker parts like eyebrows, you can fill the whole thing with color, but I'm gonna leave some of it blank for texture. By the way, for this tutorial, I'm doing more manga or anime art style, so I will simplify the face a lot. As you can see, I'm alternating between thin and thick lines, like on the lips here. Using different line weights like this will make the drawing look more attractive, even though it's just a line art. For larger shapes like the face, make sure to zoom out and draw a confident line on the straight parts. You will press a lot of undo in here, but that's okay. And then on the corner here, do little strokes and another confident line. And then repeat for the chin. Don't forget to rotate your canvas if there's a difficult angle. Alright, I'm drawing a very dark shadow under his chin. This is something a lot of manga artists do to create sense of depth in their line art. If you're planning to color it, however, feel free to skip this part. By the way, a pro tip when you're using Parblo tablet on your phone, if you want to undo or zoom in with your fingers, 
make sure to leave some distance between the pen and the tablet so it responds. Okay, before doing the hair, I'm gonna make another layer on top and turn off the face layer. This way, I won't get distracted and if I make any mistakes on the hair, it won't have any effect on the face. Again, with the confident line and then little chicken scratches line. Chicken scratches are not all bad, okay? It works for smaller areas like this. Alright, I'm drawing some hair texture. The way you draw it depends on your preferences. Do you like it detailed or do you like it simple? I like mine somewhere in between, so I'm just gonna draw some lines on the edge of the hair. By the way, if you draw broken lines like this, it will look less monotone. Now to draw the back part of the hair, again I'm gonna make another layer because I have commitment issue and it's easier to erase if there's overlapping lines. Drawing his round head is a bit tedious, so it's fine if the lines are a bit messy because people will focus on his face. We draw the face as neat as we could. Who cares about some messy lines in the back? Anyway, now we can move on to his fur cloak. When drawing fur, I prefer to draw big shapes instead of you know, like this, because it's quicker and honestly, it looks more fluffy. Now just copy paste and I forgot how to flip horizontal in Ibis Paint, so I'll just do it manually. Listen, okay, it's not stupid if it works. Now I'm just doing his clothes real quick and also his um grandma glasses. I find guys with grandma glasses to be quite hot. Okay, now I have named all the layers and I'm gonna erase the overlapping lines. If it is difficult to see the lines, just lower the opacity of one layer and it should be easier to determine which one should you erase. Then I'm emphasizing the dark shadows even more in the crevices so the line art doesn't look too flat. After that, you can color it but I'm going to give it screen tone so it looks like a manga page. To do that, create a layer below your line art, click the blending modes, and choose screen tone on the top. Now you have varieties of screen tones such as dots, noise, and lines. I'm gonna try dot 8. It doesn't matter what color you chose, the screen tone will turn it into grayscale. I like softer looking screen tones, so I'm gonna use a soft eraser and gently erase some parts of the screen tone. This way you can get some kind of a gradient look. You can also use airbrush, it works really well. For highlights, just use a hard eraser. For the hair, it's even quicker because you can just use the bucket tool and just tap on the hair. Of course, make sure there are no holes or gaps in the line art or else the color would bleed everywhere. Now I'm just making highlights with the eraser tool. I'm always making the shapes for highlights and I like to highlight the rim of the head. I don't know, it looks shinier somehow. I will also rim light the fur cloak. It's really fun using screen tones in Ibis Paint though. I can't believe I didn't try this sooner. Well anyway, let me know what you think. Thank you Parblo for sending me the tablet and here's what it's like on my desk. Yes, my desk is very lame because I don't decorate my workspace. And thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye!